Quick question. 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 Hey everybody, welcome back to Quick Question. I am Travis and Jonathan's not here at the moment. He's away on assignment. He he'll be back. He's not he's not gone. He'll be back. But since he was going out of town for a little bit, I thought, well, we'll just take the week off. We won't do an episode this week. No big deal. He'll be back home soon. We'll pick back up with our regularly scheduled program and everything will go back to normal. But now we're not taking a week off because, guys, I was given a gift. I opened up my phone and I decided to click on voice memos, which... I never do. I don't even remember that that's on my phone half the time. But I looked under voice memos and there was a file just waiting to be discovered. It was from January 3rd of this year and it was labeled car pod. And I looked at it and I said, what the fuck is that? I don't what I have no memory of. I haven't. Well, the vague recollection, like just a little, just a, just a, just a touch of remembrance around this, but I don't totally remember it. And it was about 34 minutes long, which is pretty long for a voice memo, if you think about it. So I thought, well, I should probably listen to this. I should probably check it out. And it turns out it's an episode of this podcast that John and I recorded in a car, hence the name car pod. And then I was like, Oh, right. I do kind of remember this. I totally forgot about it. But now that I'm listening to it, I do remember this. We decided to go to Disneyland and on a whim, I whipped out the phone. We started hitting record and we just like, fuck it. Let's make an episode of the podcast while we're driving. And then we forgot about it. So I listened to it and uh, it made me laugh. It made me think. It made me remember why we do this show in the first place. And it made me realize what a great friend John is. So I decided let's put it out. John was on board. In fact, that's what this originally was for. It was for you guys to listen to. So we're going to flash back a little throwback episode, if you will, to a simpler time known as January 2018. You'll hear John and I talk about New Year's resolutions, the meaningless uh, flow of time, and a bunch of other side conversations. You know how the show goes. So please enjoy jumping in the car with us as we take you on a ride in our car pod. Quick question. Quick question. Hey guys, I'm Jonathan. I am Travis. And we are doing something new. We are trying a mobile pod. We are doing a, we are on the fly, kids. A mobile pod. We are uh we are going down to uh the happiest place on earth. That's right. What wait. Oh yes. Yeah. Uh Disneyland. Mm-hmm. And, I was gonna uh, make a really gross joke, but I decided <laughs> not to. <laughs> and we are in my car. Um I hope everybody had a, a fantastic holiday, by the way. I do too. Uh, Travis and what I. What if I did it? <laughs> I was like, I don't care. I don't give Travis a shit. and I had that. We had the uh, the luxury of bringing in the year together. Yeah, first uh, time, right? Yeah, because we didn't do New Year's last year. We did year. not do New Year's last year. Oh right, because you were back home, or you were. I was at Ben Feldman's house. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Um, well, then it actually uh, bringing up the New Year brings up uh, something I wanted to talk to you about. Okay. Quick question, John. Hit me. What do you feel about New Year's resolutions? How do you feel about them? How do I feel about New Year's resolutions? Yeah. Okay. Um, let me think about this here. All right. I think they're. Uh, I think they're good in theory. Hmm. Um, but here's the thing. Hmm. Um, I think you should just set goals. I agree. I always find it really strange that the new year becomes the time where you go and. I'm going to wait till this point to change something or to do something. Yeah, it's just, I, yeah, it's just, I mean, if New Year's Eve was a day before, a day earlier, it'd be December 30th, you know, it's just another day. Right. Well, also too, man's uh, version of time is completely uh, egotistical and uh, we have no bearing in the universe, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, so, but also. And now <laughs> it's time for Positive <laughs> Thoughts with Travis Clark. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Positivity. Yeah, the orbit of our planet means nothing, and your accomplishments will be forgotten. Also, like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, look, I, I like resolutions, and I tend to, like, my resolution this year was just be better. Mm. Be better. Be a better fiancé, be a better 
Uh, yeah, I might want to start thinking about tying that knot too. Um, be, a better, <laughs> be, a, be a better fiance, be a better actor, be a better writer, be a better friend, be a better son, just be better. Interesting. Yeah. I like that because it's all inclusive. I feel like a lot of people focus on vanity ones, you know, lose weight. It's uh, just, yeah. I mean, look, man, you should, like, focusing on that shit should always be in the back of your head. It shouldn't be something you try to do just because of the new year. Like, you can, if you're not happy with that shit, like, on fucking Wednesday, just be like, I'm going to the gym. You yes. Know? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, but I also will say, and we've talked about this on other episodes, I actually completed my first New Year's resolution ever, I think, uh, that I stuck with for the entire year. In 2017, I challenged myself to write a thousand words a day, every day, and I did it. I am going to interject here. Yeah, you fucking did. <laughs> <laughs> I was uh, I was thoroughly impressed when he when he mentioned this thing to me. He's like, I'm going to write a thousand words a day for a year, and I was like, That's fucking a lot. That's a it lot of words a, lot. a day, yeah. and that is a big time commitment. Because I know we'd come out, we'd go out sometimes, and we'd go home, and it'd be like two or three in the morning. And you'd be like, I got to go home and write. Yep. And you still did it mm-hmm. every day. And there were times I know you you said it got difficult. You didn't want to do it. Absolutely. I did it when I had a kidney stone. I did it when I had surgery to remove my kidney stone. <laughs> I did it when I had food poisoning. I did it when I took an edible that was much more powerful than I was led to believe. When did you take an edible? I was uh, trying to do, use the medical marijuana for my back pain. And uh. I was trying to, I was like, look, I don't want something that's going to make me Can crazy. Can I read that journal? Can I read that entry? Oh, it's <laughs> so terrifying. <laughs> it is, I mean, it, it could not have been more of like, Childhood Travis trying to come forward and, and let oh, adult Travis it. it's gonna it. be okay. I love it. You know? <laughs> I am good. I am smart. People don't hate me. Like it was a lot of that. <laughs> <laughs> um so yes, I like I said, I love re- I like resolutions. I think they're cute. Like I had a <laughs> That's not what anyone wants to hear about the like, resolution. I had a resolution one year, like where my resolution was to try and eat something green on every plate. Like, I had okay. to have something, some vegetable on every time I ate a meal. Okay. That was a good, res- like, I, I, I'm i a big meat eater, you know? You are, I mean, look, you're Chicago through and through. Yes. Yeah, yeah, it's not a, not a, not a big Italian vegetable Chicago. town. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Um, so, I, one of my resolutions was to, you know, eat something green with every meal. So, um, green eggs and ham. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> green ham and ham. <laughs> um but yeah, like this year's just be better. And like I said, I don't think you need a a new year to uh, start something new. I think that should be you should be able to jump into that at any point. Now that being said, I also think that um, there is this kind of psychological uh, rebirth. Mm. You know that oh. happens every year. Are we getting into some cave crystals again here? Is that no, where we're going? I know. Like I just think like like mentally, I think you know it's like it's every it's a new year. It's like this big psychological thing. It's like. Where uh, you, it's a definitive line between your your future and present, or your future and your past, you know? Okay. You're like all, everything that happened in that last year in sixty five days is behind me, and I can start fresh for this one. So I think giving people a certain time frame allows them to feel reborn. Well, then do you, do you think like do you think like death row inmates <laughs> have resolutions? Do you think they're trying to like? If you're in that situation, like, what are you trying to fix about your life? You know, it's yeah. kind of done for you, right? I think death row inmates have regrets. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for my New Year's regret, I'd like to know. <laughs> What's your New Year's regret? What's your New Year's regret? <laughs> <laughs> That's really fun. That's really fun, yeah. yeah. Oh, man. Do you have a resolution? I'm doing Thousand Words again. I'm doing it for a second year. So you're just copying. Um, it's not a New Year's resolution. <laughs> I love New- that you how quickly you minimized that. Uh, so it's the same thing. It's not but even. But that's not a New Year's resolution. It's a new year, but it's an old resolution. Um, I've actually decided to expand it into three years. To, I want to try and get to a million words um, total. So it's an ongoing process too. And in a lot of ways, it's it's a it's a very focused version of yours to be better. I want to be a better writer. In fact, I want to be a great writer. And I'm finding a lot of value in doing this. Do you find that your stuff from last how does your stuff from last year compare to this stuff? Um 
<laughs> it's some of it. Some of it I still like, uh, but some of it like is like going back and reading my high school journals, where you just go, "Oh, you were so impressed with yourself, weren't you? Oh, oh you had really? just <laughs> learned that word, didn't you? And you thought it was such a good idea to use it." And uh, yeah, I. Uh, but that's also too part of the process. What you know? What it took me? It took me eleven months of writing every day to realize, "Oh, this is just about doing it." No one ever has to see this stuff. The stuff that people... This is to get ready for the thing that I want people to see. It's kind of right. like training for a marathon. You know, you don't, you don't, <laughs> you don't try and... It's kind of like, like, like take an old one eye to the optometrist before Sure, it, you go, before exactly. exactly. <laughs> that is a much better analogy. <laughs> Let's just keep everybody clear-headed yeah. and get everything out of the way. Yeah. yeah this yeah, is the yeah, man yeah. behind the curtain. But that's good. I mean, and look, I think... Like I said, I admire that. I, I try to write every day, but I, you know, some days I just, it's not, I'm not there. I'm not, I'm not mentally present. I don't. Oh no. Writer's I, block yeah. is a very severe, like it's a very real thing. And especially when you're, no, your, your thousand words a day didn't have to correlate every day. No, I did do that for a while. I had a few stories that I, I did over several days just because, uh, after a while you go, I have a 365 fucking ideas is hard right <laughs> it's that's not a big easy. idea yeah, it's a big year for ideas <laughs> and you can't be like oh today the character drove a car yeah, go, uh, to, go, <laughs> to, go to see your agent you're like what do you got for us okay so I got 365 <laughs> ideas <laughs> one is a bike <laughs> one is a car one is a train um, but yeah so like when I go to, I try to put pen to paper at least once every day but I'm writing like you know I I don't sit down and write Prose, and I don't write uh, like nonfiction. I try to, I mean, just I try to write like a, a script here, or a script sure. there, or like work on a, a pitch. So like I'm kind of, but sometimes just I'm just not there mentally on the on the project, and it's and, you know, and it is a very real thing. Yeah, it it is, and what I found my personal experience is that's going to be. A thing that's gonna, you know, I can go and get the dream writing job I want, and I may show up and have that. How do you fight through it? Yeah. How do you get through it? And I've found like fun things where you just go, all right, sitting here and not being able to think of something is a scene. Write the scene. What does it look like? What does it feel like? Why does a guy feel oh, that's like interesting. that? And just try and find ways to go around it. Mm -hmm. um, or if I want to journal about my day. So I allow myself to journal sometimes if I'm really hung up and can't think of anything new. I've started writing journals as a short story. So if I want to talk about how frustrated I am about something, all right, well, let's make it a narrative. Like, let's make that right, I'm right. the own character. I'm not just saying, I feel sad because, like, just yeah, yeah. find a way to make it a story. Uh, can I ask you a question? Of course. All right. That's uh, kind of what the whole podcast is. <laughs> quick question. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Double it up here today. Quick question, guys. Um, how do you think people should choose their resolutions? I think it should be basically what uh, what your overall resolution is. It should be as broad or as specific uh, as you want about something you want to be better at. I think it should. But be... But I'm saying for like for you, what made you choose writing more than anything else? Um, I think because it had become a bigger focus in my life lately. I've I've, I've I've written since I was a kid. Like I used to write. As a, you're a very good writer. I've read a lot of your stuff. Oh, that means a lot. Thank you, because I think you're a great writer. So it's nice to, it's nice to hear that from someone you <laughs> uh, also look up to. Um, but I used to write as like a little kid. I'd write stories because no one made the stories that I wanted. So I was like, okay, well, I'll go make them. I'll Amazing. go write them. And I kind of lost that part of wanting to write. I kind of started writing only jokes or I started writing like really serious, like self-reflective journal entries. And I went, I want to be better at telling stories. That's what I want. Yeah. Um, because in any other thing that I do, being able to present an idea in a way that resonates with other people is only going to help you in life. I feel Yeah. whether it's a short sentence or it's a full novel, finding out a way to get people from A to B I think it's a useful skill. So. Uh, and I think we both were exemplary at uh, with that skill during our during our uh, bout at catchphrase on New Year's. Oh Eve. my god, guys at home, you do not want to play catchphrase with us. It was pure <laughs> insanity. So I had some people at the house. Our neighbors came over, and there was like I don't know, twelve of us playing catchphrase around. <laughs> Around my dining room table. No, there was only two people really playing. <laughs> it was it was it was impressive, ladies and gentlemen. So if you guys don't know how catchphrase is played, so there's this this little disc that has a screen on it, a little plastic disc has a screen on it, 
and you choose a category, and it could be science, science and uh, technology, sports and games, the world, everything, food, food. <laughs> yeah, all this kind of stuff, places. So you choose your category, and uh, every other person is on the same team. So uh, this was, by the way, the biggest version of catchphrase I'd ever played. I've only played it with like maybe like four to six people. Oh, it's fun. Yeah, it's, it's great. Rich, yeah. It's a giant game. So. Let's say the category is food. And food. I, I, so I start first, I hit food. Uh, and now the, the game starts beeping. So it's kind of like hot potato. The beeping gets faster as the longer the game goes on. And on my screen, it says hot dog. I have to give clues to my teammates and get one of my teammates to say hot dog. And guys, let me tell you, me and Travis were connected by uh, by an invisible umbilical cord because we were nourishing each other with clues and answers. To the point where other people went, what is happening? Like, like they, it was not fair. <laughs> it was like just not even fair. Yeah, we were making jokes about it. Like, yeah. all right, guys. So the category is food. Uh, all right, here we go. It's uh, it's an obscure Indo-Chinese. What is co- uh, Gobi Szechuan? <laughs> <laughs> it was Paper great. Or origami. Done. Yeah, all right. Exactly. Yeah, it was great. <laughs> but yeah, to go back, I I, I often find. Um, you know, when I was in college, I was I got my degree in theater, but my focus was in playwriting and directing. And oh, I didn't uh, know that. Yeah. I was in the acting conservatory for a little bit, but then that didn't work out. That's another story for another day. Well, well, well. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Who's laughing now? Um, <laughs> 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 um, and uh, so a big thing in directing was teaching or trying to get people to connect to material and how to, like, get your, you know people to connect to material right so i think that's a, a giant thing that we're you know both we're struggling both, both not struggling both working both very keen working. on yeah, yeah, so yeah working keen towards on. yeah yeah i uh, i was telling you before we started this like uh, i went back and was uh rereading stuff from just even a year ago and i am remarkably it's of course i i would of course only like myself but i would think i'm much better than i was a year ago it's just very. It's it's. I, I don't know. I, I I really like the idea of improving yourself. Tying it back together here, I really like the idea of improving yourself. I don't know if New Year's is that important, but if it helps people do it, then who am I to judge? Right. But here's the thing. Right. Do you think? It really <laughs> and, and now let's judge. No. Okay, because you you are a rare breed who fulfills their resolution. All year long. Mm-hmm. That doesn't happen all the time. So, I mean, there's a part of me that goes, well, look, why make the rest? You know you're not going to do it all year long. You know you're going to break it at some points. You know what I find? I was I was telling this to uh, my wife, Brandy, and to another friend of mine. I forget who I was talking to. Um, but I was saying, I think the reason so many people fall short of their New Year's resolutions is that you go... I'm going to lose 60 pounds. And then if it's been like a month and you haven't lost like 30 pounds, you're like, well, fuck it. What's the point? You know, right. like you, you make these things gigantic. You make them almost unattainable. You know, you make them too big to do. So I yeah. think, I think I, I, I made a thousand words for me last year, a difficult, but what still felt like an attainable, attainable goal. goal. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I think that's the secret to maintaining a resolution, especially if you're going to try and do it for an entire year. Yeah. I like, yeah, that's it. like, I wouldn't want to be like, you know, I'm going to be the star of a, a $2 million movie. 200, $2 million, that'd be <laughs> $200 million, $200 million movie. Like that's just, there's too many things out of my control. Right. I think that's something I can aspire to do. Sure. But that's not something I should be like, like when it doesn't happen. I'm all bent out of shape. Right. It's also, too, can be a super goal for you that has nothing to do with one year. Or know? exactly. No you time know? frame yeah. on it. So I have a question. Wait. So wait. Yeah. All right. We're getting to some 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 wish, wishy-washy territory, Trey. Oh, oh, all right. All right. All right. You ready? I'm ready. Because remember how I just said, well, your New Year's resolution is actually just copying your last year's resolution? Yeah. Does your... It, like, if I make a resolution to, to eat something green every meal... Do I have to maintain that for the next year as well? Is that something that becomes a permanent part of my life? That's or does to, it just get washed? I think that's up to... Uh, I think it's up to the individual. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look, eating something green with every meal, if you did it after 365 days and you were like, 
I did it. I don't feel any better or different or it didn't really add any value to my life. You don't have to keep it. Right. Whereas I'm getting value out of what I'm doing. And I had originally considered making my goal harder, but I already know my goal is pretty fucking hard. So I'm going to stick with sticking at it to become better at it. Yeah. I think I've also made the resolution that as long as I have the ability to, I will write every day for the rest of my time. Maybe it's not a thousand words, but, but just putting I, pen to paper. Yeah, yeah. Or fingers to keys, whatever, whatever works out. It was an expression. I know. All right. All right. I just want to make ex- sure. It was an expression. I want to know that uh, maybe uh, some of the uh, younger generation out there, <laughs> some you know. Of the, um, some of the uh, millenniums. Yeah. <laughs> millenniums. Some of them near uh, millenniums. Yeah, yeah. You guys still saying YOLO? YOLO. <laughs> YOLO millenniums. YOLO. Uh, Solo. I, I, you know what's funny? I thought about you the other day because we were talking. <laughs> Remember your whole joke you had about the Millennium Falcon? <laughs> Millennial, Millennial Falcon. Falcon. Flown by Han Yolo, yeah. Han Yolo. <laughs> but I started thinking of like, what if like, like Han Solo was just like, Solo, like <laughs> something only live one, you know? Oh, stop. Solo. <laughs> like anytime someone did something, they're like, Solo. <laughs> you know? Sorry, only live one. Who does this? I mean, who just, yeah, who does that? We're driving by a sign right now that has been completely graffitied. Like, to, it's, it's on the freeway, too, and it's just, like, yeah, like, it's not even good graffiti. It's not even good graffiti, and it's, like, people need to know which lane to be in, and all I know is it's, it's like, Scott Slots is, yeah. like, all it says. I think it said Scream. Like I the, didn't want to say the guy's actual thing. I didn't think it said yeah. Scream, but it looked like Scream. Yeah, fucking... Fuck you, Scream. Kids today. Yeah. Kids um, with your Hey, graffiti. guys, uh, also, while we still got you on the line here... Uh, Feel free to tweet us some of your resolutions. Yeah, let us know what you guys are doing for the new year or what your uh, what your new year, new you thing is. I went hiking on uh, uh, New Year's. I did not go hiking I, on New Year's. You did not. You had talked about it. Though, I did one, talk one, about yeah. it. Yeah. Um, I, uh, go on. Well, I went up to um, this place in L.A. called the Wisdom Tree, which I'd heard about for a couple of years, but I'd never been there before. Is that a difficult hike? It's not... It's not impossible. It's steep. It's right. about a mile pretty steep on the way up. But you can do it, like, relatively quickly. Gotcha. And it's, it's not terrible. Um, but my knees were sore the following day. Gotcha. Um, and there were kids on the trail. So, like, right. I mean, there were, actually, there were kids who were being taken by their parents who this was clearly their New Year's resolution. And they didn't have a babysitter. Like, there was a lot of that. That's hysterical. Uh, so I went up there. And at the top of this hike at the wisdom tree and supposedly the myth behind it I didn't know this uh, but uh, I was told that the wisdom tree is called that because there was a giant fire up there and that's the only tree that didn't burn and that's why what it's it still wisdom I don't know it was smart enough not to catch on fire should it be the invincible tree <laughs> it should be the miracle tree yeah, I don't or know or like yeah the, yeah the fire retardant tree I think it used to be called the prayer tree and then that became wisdom because I don't know because LA sounds fake yeah Anyway, so when you go up there, there's a bunch of journals. It's filled with people who are supposed to be writing messages to the tree. I don't know. It's not really clear what who you're writing to. Yeah. Are you able to read all these other stuff? Yeah, or? yeah. It's all up there to, you know, you're supposed to kind of flip through it, see what other people wrote, write your own thing, whatever. Gotcha. So I get up there. Um, first thing I do is I look out at the scenic view. I go over to the... Uh, box full of journals. I pick it up. But there's a box? Like there's a box. Yeah, there's a bunch of them. There's just filled with it. So I picked up one that seemed interesting, flipped it open to a random page. First thing I see, giant page and giant uh, writing in a, in a Sharpie. It says, fuck her right in the pussy. That's the first thing I see. <laughs> fuck her right, right in, in the, the pussy. pussy. Yeah. <laughs> and so uh, there's a pen on the ground. I pick it up and I just wrote, but her emails and I closed it and I put it back into the thing for someone to read later. Interesting. Because uh, I thought that was hilarious. I thought that was absolutely That's clever. Hilarious. That's clever. Um, but you know what I realized? Doing uh, funny tweets in, on not Twitter is very unsatisfying. <laughs> like putting the old pen to paper? <laughs> yeah, putting the old pen to paper where you're like, oh, I have no idea if anyone's ever going to like this. Uh-oh. Oh. This guy's, we got, guys, oh. we got a, we got a, we got a traffic violation. Oh, man. We got a traffic violation. Uh, not us. Not us. No, no, somebody else. Hopefully they're doing a podcast. That'd be amazing. Right? Uh, and, and also, guys, let us know, this is something new we're trying. It's just, uh, uh, podding in the car. Yeah, car pod. Car pod. 
<laughs> Car- Carpod. It's a great like last name for someone. Like, sure. Lord Carpod. My name is That's a little too close to, <laughs> to who? Farquad. Who's Farquad? Lord Farquad? Yeah. I don't, what, what? Shrek? Who? What did you say? Shrek? Shrek. Oh. Lord I know, Farquaad. I don't know who Lord Farquaad. I know who Shrek is. Jonathan Lickow's character, Lord Farquaad, little tiny guy with the fucking hair. I thought he was a. Uh... His name is Lord Farquaad. Who was um? Who was the evil, good-looking prince? What was there his was name? No evil, good-looking prince. Yeah, there was like a prince charming guy that was played by that guy, British guy. What? Yeah. I'm you talking know. the original Shrek. Oh, I'm talking this. I've seen all six. How Have many Shreks are there? Three. No, there's four. No. There's Shrek the Fourth. Oh, maybe there is. Yeah, there's at least four. And there was a ride. There was Shrek 4D. So that's like five. Was that? That's Universal? Uh, it was at Universal. It was DreamWorks. Okay. Um, and, because I worked at DreamWorks for a while, and you got a Shrek for your first year working there. You got a little Shrek statue, like a chip. Like in oh, your, really? Yeah. And it would say the number of years you've been there, and you got a Shrek for every year oh, you worked hysterical. there. Oh, that's hysterical. That's hysterical. Oh, oh uh, boy. Oh, boy. Eric's celebrating his fifth year Shrek today. Oh, every year was still a Shrek? Yes. And it had the number of the year on the bottom that he was standing on. They could give you a different character. I, you would, well, uh, that's part of the problem DreamWorks Animation was having. <laughs> that's <laughs> Didn't really have funny. a lot of things that were really landing that's as hard really funny. as Shrek. Um, but anyway, yes, Carpod is a great name for a... Uh, for, uh, it's a great name, guys. It's just a good name. It's just a good name. You know, this is maybe this is something we can do from now on. I think so. I mean, look... It's we, just like, we have quick question, but like maybe, you know, we're like, hey, let's go get uh, a burrito. And we just pod until do, we get... Do, 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 do. Quick burrito. burrito. Do, 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 do. Burrito. Yeah. Or do, 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 do. Quick Disneyland. Um, right. No. But we just pod in the car on our way to places. Right. I mean, look, we have it a... Could be a t- it could be a 45-minute pod. It could be a two-minute pod. Yeah. It could be, like, literally... It could be a fucking knock-knock yeah. joke. <laughs> we could do a quick hike. We could do, we could do a quick hike. Yeah, you know. That would um, be fun. I like this. I like this stuff. This is like the notebook version of, of like a pod, not notebook the movie. Like this is like like our notebook of ideas for pod stuff. I don't follow. Well, this is not. Oh, as, this is the, yeah, this is the like, notebook. Yeah, which we journal. Yeah, we're in. like we're we're putting we're we're putting down audio notes to each other and to our uh, listeners about stuff we want to maybe do in the future. Oh, kind of like a behind the scenes kind of thing. Okay, that's another way people say it. Yeah, sure. Or what we can do is lot do these things on live, like on live Facebook. Oh, we can't do that now. Why? Um, because I'm. I, I. Well, no, not now. Yeah, no. This Put on the right home. Yeah. Okay. We, we could write home. home it. Oh, and people be really confused when they watch the video first. Yeah, they'll be like, I don't understand it. <laughs> and we're just like referencing this the whole time. Yeah. yeah. It's fucking amazing. They'll be like, I don't. Un- I don't understand. Um. What else? What else? Um. Are you? Uh, are, we had talked about doing a quick road trip at some point. Oh, guys. So, um, you know me and my love of burritos and mm. Travis and his love of burritos and both of us and our love for the spice. The spice. Um, and Travis, I'll let you tell him about this burrito. I saw a, uh, uh, I believe it was an article. Maybe I saw it on TV. I don't know. But there is a place in Portland, Oregon uh, that has a thing called the Diablo Burrito. I believe it's called Allen's Authentic Mexican. Diablo. What did I say? Dia- no, you said Diablo. Oh, yeah, I did say that's, Diablo. Uh, that's uh, Spanish for big and hot. It's Spanish for uh, ring, ring stain. <laughs> Bruce ring stain? Yeah. Bruce ring <laughs> Boss. <laughs> <laughs> Bruce ring stain. Boss. <laughs> oh, my God. That is hilarious. Um so, Alan's Authentic Mexican, I believe is the name of the place. So, you know it's Authentic Mexican with a name like that. Alan. Yeah. Um, they have this burrito that is two pounds. And That's an estimate, though, right? I don't think they weigh it. So, yeah, it's a, it's a, yeah, it's an estimate. It's a big burrito. I it's saw a, the, it's yeah. not small. Inside are what they claim to be ten of the hottest peppers in the world. Now, that keeps changing kind of based on who's making what so I don't know what's really in this thing I gotta guess there's for sure a couple of ghost peppers I gotta guess a Carolina Carolina Reaper of some kind is in right. there uh, maybe one of the bootlas or something like that you know? yeah that's a ghost pepper uh, no no the, the bootla one the B-U-T-L oh the yeah, chocolate yeah yeah yeah, chocolate, yeah, yeah. yeah. 
Um, so whatever it is, it's in there. You have 10 minutes to eat this two pounds of spice, start to finish. Uh, and last I heard, only three people had done it. The video of the chick was impressive. Yeah. Because there is a method to this, because the burrito is piping hot. Yeah, they don't make it easy. They're not trying to let you win this. And, yeah. I, and I think all you get is bragging rights. I don't think you get anything out of it. There's no t-shirt? Maybe there's a t-shirt. There might be a t-shirt. There's no t-shirt, there's no deal. <laughs> <laughs> no t-shirt, no deal. Yeah. That's going on a t-shirt. <laughs> that is going on a t-shirt. We got uh, milk in the bucket, no, no t-shirt, no, no deal. deal. <laughs> Enjoy your pretzel. Yeah. Oh, well job done. Well job done. Thanks for the pizza. Enjoy your pretzel. Oh, guys, we have fun. So anyway, yeah, so we're thinking about uh, renting a Prius, driving up to the old Oregon. Do you say and- Oregon or Oregon? I say Oregon. I used to say Oregon for a long time. Oregon. Yeah. Like Do you say gone. Nevada or... or Nevada? <laughs> <laughs> no, there's another way that they get mad about it. No. Nevada? Nevada or Nevada? Nevada. Nevada. I don't know what I say. Do you want to know what I thought about the other day? What? Oh, and you just gave me Nevada. It's Nevada. Banana. Right? Okay. Uh, what was the other one? Uh, Havana. There's lots of words like this. Okay. Fucking Panama had to just not let things go the way they were, Panama. right? Panama. But it should be Panama. <laughs> <laughs> it, it should 100% be Panama. <laughs> oh, the Panama Canal. <laughs> the Panama Canal. <laughs> I love it. What made you think of that? I don't know, man. <laughs> I love that you're like, fucking Panama. Had to be <laughs> different. Yeah. The Panama Canal. And it's a little more rhythmic. Panama Canal. 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 I like it. I like it too. Yeah, guys. So yeah, we might be going to look for us for eating spicy burritos near you if you're in Oregon. Yeah, we should just do a road trip too. I think so. We've never actually we've never done one of those. No. You and I have not. We've gone places, but we've never taken a road trip. I think our farthest road trip would have been what? Disneyland? Probably. <laughs> what we're doing at this exact moment? <laughs> Probably. I think this is the furthest we've driven from our homes. Yeah. Uh, I can't think of any place we've gone that's further. Together. No, it's 40, yeah. 40 miles. Crazy town. Crazy town. Run a dum dum. Um... Oh, are you still in for the burrito? Because you last we talked, you were a little... I'm in. You're in. I'm in. I want to... Look. Here's my thing. Okay. I'm not worried about the heat. Okay. Uh, You're worried about the ride home. I'm, well, we have definitely got to stay at night. <laughs> we're, we're definitely staying at night above Allen's after this one. You got to eat a burrito. Um, you got to wait for it to go through you. Oh, yeah. 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 First, and absolutely. then you go on the road. Absolutely. Um... Here's, I'm, I don't, uh, I'm a big eater, mm-hmm. but, uh, like, I don't know if I'd feel, uh, you know what? I'm not going to say that. I'm just going to say I can do it and we're going to do it together. What about this? I wonder if this would be in the rules because, uh, everyone, including you have told me I eat incredibly fast. You eat incredibly fast. So if we're getting, if we're going and I got the room, can I help? Ooh. If we make it like a... It's so a, two burritos, yeah. two people. Right. And you have 10 minutes. Yeah. Wow. So if you... I mean, you would be... I'd be on I mean, fire and full. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But you'd also be like fucking team player of the year. Yeah. <laughs> you know? <laughs> it's like, you gotta get a... You gotta get a fucking t-shirt for that. Come on, you guys gotta give me a t-shirt for this one. Oh, but here's the rule. What if we if we don't finish both of them in 10 minutes? Do we... Do you still get credit for the one? Ooh, Interesting. Interesting. This might be a question we have to ask Alan directly to find out uh, hey, what the rules are. Seriously. Um, should we recap? Let's recap. One. Resolutions. Do them if they make you happy. But also, like, work out starting tomorrow if, if you think you need to work out. And time is a meaningless ego trip put it together by Time internet. is but the stream we go efficient in. First person to uh, email me that, email or tweet the uh, person who, who said that quote. 
Uh, wins a prize. <laughs> wins a t-shirt. It says, no t-shirt, no deal. No t-shirt, no deal. <laughs> yeah, we'll do that. Uh, what else? Uh, uh, spicy food is fun. Yeah, and road trip with your friends. Yeah, get together with your friends. Make a podcast. Go out there. If, if nothing else, I think we've proved... You just need a phone and a buddy if you want to make a podcast. There it is, So guys. go and make a podcast if you're uh, so inclined. Follow us on the socials. I'm at Sadowski23. I'm at Mr. Travis Clark. The show is at Quick Q Pod. And uh, we're on our way to Disneyland. So uh, we'll see you not there because by the time this is out, we will have left. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Adios. Bye. Quick question.